With all of this programming, Mike, I would think that AMSA would need a place to house its staff and the interns and a lot of the people that, that come through the office. You know, Brian, as a fellow employee of AMSA, I hate to remind you that we do have our lovely townhouse in exotic rest of Virginia. Not to mention AMSA's big house where myself and the other student fellows live. You know what, it's not just that. When students do have free time like myself, AMSA members have been known to take to the streets and raise our voices up for the change in healthcare. These are AMSA members in Philadelphia marching to the streets calling for HIV AIDS medication across the globe. These are uh, medical students and AMSA members marching on the Massachusetts State House calling for healthcare reform, much needed healthcare reform. And then these are students turning up the heat at Houston at our Region 579 Regional Conference calling for healthcare reform in the South. AMSA members were also greeted by a, uh, a parade of honking horns and cars at our Northeast Regional Conference as they marched across the Brooklyn Bridge. You know, AMSA members were also called out at the International AIDS Conference last year by the likes of Bill Clinton and Bill Gates. Actually, you know, Brian, at some of these uh, rallies and marches, they've got some pretty good looking speakers on docket, too. Yeah, Mike, I guess you thought the bow ties were. Really <laughs> Ouch. Well, Brian, I have to ask you, what have you been up to then? Well, you know, Mike, I participated in Farm Free Day at George Washington University this past year. I also took to the streets of New York in front of the United Nations demanding that nations keep their promises to fund healthcare workers in nations or in the places in the world like Africa. Additionally, I uh, was participating in the rally in, in uh, Chicago where a national convention was two years ago. Speaking of national conventions, most recently AMSA members stood on the steps of the United States Capitol calling for our legislators to expand and reauthorize the state children's health insurance plan, as well as calling for our Congress to support a African Health Care Capacity Act, which would actually place health care workers in Africa, not just provide the medication, but provide the services for people to be part of that culture, be part of that society, and provide those services. In fact, you never know who you're going to run into in AMSA. This is AMSA's first Global AIDS fellow, Tina Wu, UCLA, med student, MS3, also final six on the bachelor, if you guys watch TV. Uh, hanging out, getting cozy with Richard Gere at a CNN HIV AIDS special. Uh, Bill Clinton, joined by AMSA member Bill Greenhut, a uh, student at Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine, getting to know each other at the same event. It was true. You never really do know who you're going to run into at AMSA. Including folks like Patch Adams, this is the uh, former acting surgeon general Ken Morizugo, and uh, Brian, I also think we ran some pretty interesting folks at our Region 8 conference in Des Moines. In fact, we also we're joined by a presidential hopeful Barack Obama at our Legislative Affairs Leadership Institute last year. And a perennial presidential candidate Dennis Kucinich seems to pop up every time we have a conference. I, I guess he knows who this is like. Uh, we've also been joined by the likes of Lewis Sullivan, founder of Morehouse School of Medicine and former HHS secretary, also author of famous works in looking at the diversity of the healthcare workforce in the United States. We're also joined by that dishy Southeast Asian Sanjay Gota at our most recent uh, convention in DC where he talked about the impact of the media on healthcare in the United States. You know, speaking of conventions, Mike, I believe there's one coming up next March in Houston, Texas. March 12th through 16th. Uh, healthcare Revolution, Mike. Absolutely, and I hope all of you come and join us down in Houston for this conference. We are going to have amazing keynotes. It is going to be off the hook. Hundreds of sessions. All the stuff that you may be learning here and the ability to interact with thousands of medical students across the country. But you know what? AMSA does something else very well. We like to throw down and party. In fact, I think you got a, a, a bag full of water balloons that day. You can also see Dan Murphy in the middle is our Legislative Affairs Director. Um, you can see Paige Hatch, our Director of Student Programming, and Frank Chow, our National Treasurer there at our Chapter Officers Conference. Was anybody here at the Chapter Officers Conference this year? <laughs> you can ask them how bad they got the hose, too. But anyways, AMSA, AMSA is a family, and we have a culture of having a lot of fun. And there's a lot of serious work that we do. We take to the streets, we meet with people, we craft legislation, we pass bills. But, you know, it's not all we do. We like to have a lot of fun. So, you know, Mike, from our roots back at Salem. To our current vision, <laughs> which is AMSA. I would hope that all of you feel part of the AMSA family here. Welcome to the American River College Conference. Brian and I will be here all weekend.
Flavio's in the back is our Jack Rutledge fellow. You can pick his brain about healthcare reform. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Jubin, thanks for having us. Thanks for the gifts you left me in my hotel room. Uh, it's been a pleasure to speak with you guys. Um, Brian and I will be giving a session on uh, leadership in healthcare uh, later this afternoon. So good morning to everybody, and thanks for your time. We appreciate it.